and going to prison without committing an offense, for me, is a celebration. Is a celebration. When I was sitting in that prison cell, I was saying, but when my, why am I here among some people who have murdered people, people who have stolen, but why am I here without committing an offense? I just said, it is part of my life journey. It's part of the process. And I adjusted accordingly. Spending nine days in prison for not committing an offense is painful. But for me, it was joyous because I did not commit any offense. So I want to make two serious clarifications regarding the majesty and his uh, 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 judgment. I think in life we should learn to tell the truth. And when people that are given the responsibility to adjudicate on matters of people's liberties, on matters of uh, uh, law, when they start to tell lies with impunity, then as a country we should get one. I want to challenge every Zambian, every Zambian, particularly those who are in government, civil society, and of course the Law Association of Zambia, to go and look at, look at the record, the proceedings of my trial before Magistrate Simusamba. I'll repeat that. I want to challenge everybody, well-meaning Zambians, to go, because a court record is a public record, go and do a search and determine on your own whether what Honorable Simusamba pronounced on my judgment was anything truth. One, the learned magistrate stated that my behavior during the trial was unacceptable and very bad because I was absconding court. My dear brother, my dear younger brother, Simosamba, truth is very important in a man's life. When you have an agenda against somebody, please don't bring in lies to justify your agenda. Like I've said, when you go and look at the record, there are only three times, three occasions, that I did not attend court and where Honorable Simusamba warned and threatened to revoke my bail or my police bond as it were. The first one, as you may be aware, I go to South Africa quarterly for my medical review. As appearing before Honorable Mikalile, on whose one of the conditions of my bail was that they grabbed my passport. I applied with hospital documents to show that I was due for my review in South Africa. Because every three months the doctors do change the medication and all that and look at uh, my male health. And my doctor is in South Africa. Honorable mm -hmm. Mikalile gave me permission to travel to South Africa by way of a court order based on the medical documents that I produced from South Africa before a court and released my passport. That was on a Thursday. And on a Monday, Honorable Simusamba's case was due to come for continuous trial. I left for South Africa on Thursday afternoon, and I was due to come back on Wednesday the following week. And because I'm a law-abiding citizen and we respect the courts, 
we went and filed, my lawyers went and filed for an adjournment based on the order of the court that I was given by Honorable uh, Mikalile and based on the hospital documents that I was due for medical, uh, uh, medical review to go and ask for an adjournment in that matter. To my surprise, when the matter on Monday in the in Honorable Court, he said a lot of things demeaning, accusing me of running away from me, and he threatened to issue a bench warrant against me. My lawyers were shocked, equally shocked. And they presented all the documents to show that this person has gone to court. And given a court order by your fellow magistrate, he said, I don't care what happens in that court. For me, this is my court, and I take charge. That was the first time he threatened to revoke my, my bail. He did not even revoke that legitimately I went to the hospital. The second time was when the anti-corruption came to conduct a search here. They, they uh, 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 staged my home at about zero five hours. The guard came and told me there are police officers who have surrounded the house here. We came out, police officer said they are uh, the uh, and corruption said they had the search warrant to search my home for aeroplanes, uh, documents, motor vehicles. I, I, I don't even understand parking in the case for them to come and search. And the fact, if you read on their search warrant, it said to look for aeroplanes, motor vehicles, and any other suspicious. I told the officer I have a court case in Honorable Sim Samba's case and I need to go to court. Why can't you allow me to go to court, go and attend to the major to so ask for an adjournment, and then come back for you to continue? They refused. I called the lawyers. The lawyers came here. They tried to reason with the anti corruption. The anti corruption totally refused. But when we go to search a house, we don't leave until we finish. Because maybe when you go to court, by the time you come back, certain things would have been <laughs> What my lawyers did, I called one of the lawyers from CL Mundi and Company to say, please, this is a situation that we have. Go to court and tell the magistrate that uh, the accused person cannot be in court because he's been held by anti-corruption. That day again, the magistrate said a lot of things. This man thinks he's above the law. This man is, he thinks he's, 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 he's a rich, uh, uh, what word did he use? A privileged rich person to the court in any direction. The lawyer who went there was so that your honor, this man has been held by a government institution. You can even go with us now at his house and see that he's being searched. Again, if to issue a bench warrant against me. That was the second time, members of the press and people of Zambia. Last time. I was admitted in the UTH. Most of you members of the press. I was admitted seriously sick on oxygen at the university. I wrote a medical report telling him that this man cannot come to court today because he's in the hospital. To my surprise again, the major street said a lot of things and again threatened to issue a bench warrant against me. These are the only three times that I want to call my health status. 
and you can see members of the press, you can see people of Zambia, 